Hello, everybody. This is Ratchet Glitch 09, and today, <clears throat> ZMG. What is this? Yes, this is Black Ops. I'm uploading Black Ops gameplay commentaries again because I got my dazzle fixed. So herp a derp a derp a derp a derp. A derp. Now, I muted the sound to this video because I was talking while this was recording, and the new way I'm recording apparently captures sound while you're recording, so that makes me that makes me very sad. But excuse the little lag here, it all flattens out in Trey Dose now. So, yeah. Um, the main thing I want to talk about in this video, well, for one, I'm using Commando Red Dot Sight with Flak Jacket Pro, Slide Fan Pro, Mer uh... T Tactical Mask Pro, Double XP Weekend. Um, so, main thing I wanted to talk about today is which do you guys prefer, Battlefield Three or Modern Warfare Three? Because personally, me, Disaster, and Dazzle Mac, we were talking last night. Um, first of all, Treyarch or er, Infinity Ward, they're money hungry. Like, if you go to play Modern Warfare Two. If you look at the news feed, you're like, oh, why would I look at the news feed? They never update that because there's nothing new because they don't, like, work with the game anymore. Well, apparently they do because there's advertisements for Call of Duty XP. Now, if they can update that to get advertisements for Call of Duty XP, which the average person isn't going to go to, why can't they just work their servers out to where to stop hackers or at least try make updates or something because I mean they obviously know a lot of people are playing Modern Warfare 2 if they're updating it with advertisements for Call of Duty XP so if they know people are still playing why don't they fix some stuff that people are complaining about now that only the diehard fans are still playing I don't know but the Battlefield series they they mm, partially listen like the community manager doesn't really respond to questions, but they listen to things that need to be done more than Infinity Ward. And Infinity Ward, there's uh, Sledgehammer and um, another company working on Modern Warfare 3. But our theory is the game's not going to be much better. It's going to be Modern Warfare 2. Point, or, yeah, Modern Warfare 2.5. Same problems as always. Not going to be much better. Where Battlefield 3, on the other hand, is going to be where you have to actually use strategy like the Battlefield series is. Um, it's going to be new. Um, it's just going to be a new and innovative uh, design. But, I mean, people always say Battlefield 3 or Modern Warfare 3. What about Uncharted 3? Because th this is a year of threes. I'm going to get all three. Most likely not going to like Modern Warfare 3. Like, story looks amazing. I've always loved um, Call of Duty stories. I, I was kind of disappointed with Black Ops. Modern Warfare 2 is my favorite. But um, one thing Infinity Ward can't screw up is the story. And if they do, I just give up on them. But I'm also getting Uncharted 3 at the same time as Battlefield 3 and uh, Modern Warfare 3. So I'm going to have to divide my time. Most likely just between um, Uncharted 3 and Battlefield 3, because like I said, I really don't think... Look at this, look at this, C4. Uh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Another C4? What is this? Oh, but then he had flak jacket, but I don't die because my teammate saves me. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to have to divide my time evenly between um, Uncharted 3 and Battlefield 3. Because Modern Warfare 3, I'm probably just going to play it. Because I'm pretty sure that comes out before the other two. I'm going to play it. See if it's good. Play through the campaign. And see the multiplayer. Because, I mean, for one thing, the second chance is in the game. So that just ruins everybody. Or whatever it's called in the Modern Warfare series. Uh, Last Stand, Final Stand. That ruins everyone's hopes of them fixing things. Because they obviously didn't hear any of our complaints about noob tubes, second chance, Ghost having nothing to compete with. What I mean by that is Modern Warfare 2. It was either Ghost or like stopping power, and everyone used stopping power. So I'm pretty sure you weren't gonna switch out not being detected on radar for for um being able to kill easier. Um, they're not gonna hear our complaints about noob tube, second chance, ghost, anything. Cause obviously, second chance, final stand, last. Stand is in the game. Noob tubes are in the game. This is what we've seen from trailers. 
but they are adding some new stuff. But I also did hear that they are taking out some of the hardcore kill streaks, as um the person I heard it from stated it. As in, they're adding more team kill streaks like the Blackbird, and I I assume that, uh EMP, even though that's like a offensive team kill streak if you know what I mean, because that like disables all the enemy electronics. But they're adding more team based kill streaks rather than um offensive kill streaks like chopper gunner nuke all that stuff which i'm thinking why can't they just have both and have a ton of kill streaks and another thing i'm not really sure about modern warfare 3 are they going to work with the cod point system or the um the um like complete challenges to get such and such because if they do one thing that they can do to just stop most of the noob tube problem, make the noob tube the last attachment, or at least not the first attachment you unlock, if you are if they aren't using the um, cod points where you have to unlock if if they're using the uh, let me restate this if they're using the same way to unlock attachments as they did in Modern Warfare 2, which was you had to <clears throat> get certain amounts of kills with the gun to get other attachments have the noob tube not be the first attachment to be unlocked have it the last or at least just not the first because that was one of the main problems because it was pretty easy to get if it was last where extended mag is it wouldn't be as bad because really why is extended mag last in modern warfare 2 for the attachment tree that just makes no sense to me i just rhymed wow rhyming in my first black ops commentary in a while oh boy but anyway, the Uncharted 3 beta S over. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed that game. Beta servers weren't that good, but <clears throat> I mean, it was a beta. Overall, the graphics were decent. Like they were really good, actually. A little bit better than Uncharted 2, I would say. I liked how the guns were. The sounds they could easily upgrade, but the guns, um. Oh, yeah, sorry, I lost my train of thought. The guns were, like, strong, and they were accurate. And I liked how you could add attachments um, to the, the the gun you start out with. As in, for instance, if you put rapid fire on the AK, your AK is rapid fire. You can pick up ammo from anyone else's AK with rapid fire. But, like, if you pick up an AK, it doesn't, like, reload your rapid fire AK ammo. <clears throat> and I also like the new addition to where you pick up ammo automatically not having to hit triangle repeatedly to get ammo because you might have accidentally picked up a different weapon than you wanted or like more grenades instead of ammo and you could have like needed it and plus you might forget to get ammo I mean you could be running in a firefight you could just run over someone's body and pick up ammo now before you had to like run over someone's body crouch down get the ammo get back up get out of the way I mean that's just a small little thing and they added sprint sprint is good um, although I heard, cause I kind of stopped playing the beta halfway through, not really, like, when the last week of the beta, <clears throat> when it was in the last week of the beta, I stopped playing it, I heard that they took out Sprint, which, I mean, I can understand why, cause like, that's one of the trademarks of the series, like, that, that there's no Sprint, you just are sprinting all the time, but, I mean, if they took it out, I can understand if they, if they didn't, more power to them. And then Battlefield 3. The Battlefield 3 Alpha, um, certain people have been getting in, uh, been, like, allowed into this, yet they can't post videos until the beta, which I'm hoping I can get into the beta, because that'll be really interesting. And, uh, like usual, big-headed Call of Duty companies, Activision, Treyarch, Infinity Ward, not really Treyarch in this situation, they don't like to make betas or alphas for the public, because all the, pr the people will be able to find out how crappy the game is before it comes out. And they won't play it. But. <clears throat> hopefully when the beta comes out I can get into it. Give you guys some more information on Battlefield 3. Which looks like it's going to be a great game to me. Um, I'm definitely going to be playing that more than Modern Warfare 2. I don't know about Uncharted. Or er, Modern Warfare 3. I don't know about Uncharted 3. I mean those three games are coming out within like three days three four days of each other it's just gonna be ridiculous and then all the christmas noobs in each game battlefield which battlefield has a jet like 
it has no um mercy to new people basically since it's so much strategy if you're new to the game you have to learn it you just keep getting destroyed until you get good at it so christmas noobs are the best on that game uncharted 3 <clears throat> a little bit more of a learning curve call of duty you know people could for sure get lucky and easily start getting good get kills noobs using second chance cold-blooded or ghost whatever it's called in that game if they're stopping power you never know. Christmas noobs are good in Call of Duty. Better in uh, Battlefield. Not so much in the uh, Uncharted series. But I mean, hey, it's going to be crazy then. When all the games are out, everyone knows the verdicts. Whether Modern Warfare 3 sucks, Battlefield 3 sucks. Doubt it. Uncharted 3 sucks. No, it doesn't because I've played the beta. But all in all, I hope you guys have enjoyed this gameplay commentary. And I hope you guys enjoyed the Minecraft video I post today also. And I hope you guys enjoyed my channel. Um, please like, favorite, and subscribe. It's been RatchetGlitcher9. You guys are awesome. And uh, peace.